Okay, so welcome back to our Mighty Ginkgo's, um, I don't know, adventure, <laughs> adventure slash guide to how to make stuff in Second Life. My name is Zero, and I'm still here teaching you. So, in the last video, we showed you how to bring in our Second Life skeleton into Blender. And um, in another video, we also showed you how to make a t-shirt that we're going to use for our rigging segment um, using just Blender, turning a cube into a t-shirt. Now, in this video, we're going to show you how to create a t-shirt using an external design program called Marvelous Designer. Um, I love, love, love Marvelous Designer almost as much as that Nord loves moist towelettes. I will recommend it before anything else when it comes to making clothes and this video is showing you just how to use it. Now I won't get into the depth of it because we have to do a Marvelous Designer video but it should get you, um, give you enough information where you can just jump in and then start designing. So first thing we all need to do is take our Second Life Avatar, that's this right here, and we need to put it into Marvelous Designer. So how you do that is, well first you go back and you add your Second Life Skeleton to um, Blender. And if you did that already, you're already halfway done. <laughs> so now that we have our character here, we're going to select the parts we want to export. Since I'm just making the t-shirt, we only really need is just the upper part of the body like this. But I don't like um, painting on, like making clothes for a partial. Um, characters because you never know later on you may want pants or something so it's always best to just export the whole thing. Um, sometimes I also suggest that you um, know what? No, that's going into a whole different topic sorry. So let's just pretend the end stay on topic and go with just a t-shirt. Sorry. So let us begin. The first thing you're going to need to do is have your second life avatar here in Blender which it already is. Next, you're going to right click onto the parts that you want to export. We're going to start with the bottom and work our way up. So first, right click on to the bottom part of the avatar, the legs, hold down the shift key, and then click on the upper part, and then the head. And then we're going to go over to File, and then Export, and then Wavefront, uh, Wavefront OBJ. So we're just going to export it as an OBJ. Now before you hit Export, we're going to go over here to the side and scroll down until you get to the export options and you're going to check selection only. It is very important that you select this otherwise it's going to select everything that makes up the avatar, the skirt, the hair, the, the everything, even some lamps and whatever. So you want to make sure that only selection only is checked before you export. So with that checked we're just going to um, name it and I'm going to name it um, second SO avatar for MD. Doesn't even have to be that long. It can just be body <laughs> or anything. And we're going to hit export. And that's pretty much it for right now. Now we're going to load up Marvel's Designer. It's going to ask me if I want to run it, so just hit yes. And MD should load up. Yes. <laughs> It'll ask you a bunch of stuff. Just keep clicking OK until you see the screen. And I'm going to pause it while I have the materials loaded. Okay, so when you get Marvelous Designer, and I'm sorry for the air that you may hear that sound. is in sound. That's my husband's breathing machine, so I can't do anything about it while he's sleeping. So, um, yeah. When you open up Marvelous Designer, you'll see the screen. And it already has a model already in here by default. We're going to want to get rid of her and import our Second Life one. So what we're going to do is go over to File, Open, Avatar, and we're going to pick the Avatar SL Avatar for MD. And it's going to ask you what kind of scale and everything else. You're just going to press M and hit OK. And it loads in our Second Life Avatar. So let's scoot this over so we can have a better work, bigger working space. So when you load in, you'll see that there's already a pattern here. This is just a default garment to show you the what Marvelous can do. And since we don't really need this because we're trying to make a t-shirt, we're just going to go File and then New and then clear out our workspace. So Marvelous Designer has two windows. A 3D window which shows your 3D avatar and a 2D window where you'll be drawing your patterns. You can arrange and sew in both the 2D and 3D window. 
but you can't draw in a 3D window. You can only draw your patterns in the 2D window. This is different in Marvelous Designer 3, 4, 5, 6, and whatever else because they took out the ability to sew in a 3D window. That's why I use 2 because it's just so damn convenient. So, that aside, let's talk about the tools and stuff you'll need to make a t-shirt. So we're going to move our attention over here to the 2D window. And you can zoom in by scrolling in your mouse wheel, like so. Hang on, let me try to find my key press so you guys can see the keys I'm pressing. Okay, so I try to use my key press and every other thing, and it just doesn't want to work. So I'll just try to narrate the best I can about what keys I'm using. So listen closely. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is learn what these tools do. Um, in order to draw our pattern, we're going to need to press the polygon tool. And that's this create polygon. Now, some people have noticed that it's not there at all. By default, Marvel's Design will have it disabled for some reason. So all you have to do is click on this empty space and then select 2D Pattern Toolbar and then you'll get all this fun stuff to create with. I'm going to scroll my wheel down in order to zoom in and I'm going to press my wheel mouse bar in in order to grab the tool, um, 2D window around like so. I'm going to use the polygon tool that's here and this will allow us to create polygons. Uh, the custom shapes like so and then there's the tool next to it which is the create rectangle which allows you to um, you know self-explanatory create rectangles um, we have to create circle and that should create a circle and then you have the internal tools that pretty much does the same thing the external tool does but inside for um, I guess not I mean the internal polygon tool allows you to create internal tools and um, shapes inside of it. However, it is not dependent on connecting the dots like the polygon tool is. For example, sorry, <laughs> um, let's use the polygon tool real quick. And you want to make a shape. If you wanted to make a line like this, it wouldn't work. You'll have to create a like a box or a closed thing where it connects to another um, line here in order to work. So even that won't work. So it needs to be some sort of object like that. <sighs> the internal polygon tool isn't re like reliant on the system. If you want it to, you can just create a line like this and inside the pattern of course and it'll be just like a line that you can use as elastic or um, creases or folds or stuff like that. The internal square is the same as the regular square, it just creates an internal shape the size of the shape of a square. And the same thing goes with a circle, it creates an internal circle that um, you can create on your regular pattern. And when you go to move it, they all work together. So what we're going to do now is create a t-shirt. Now you may wonder, I don't know how to make a pattern for a t-shirt. I don't have a t-shirt pattern. Well, don't worry. That's the joy of Marvelous Designer. All you need to do is draw the shape of a t-shirt, and then we're going to sew the two parts together. Oh, draw two parts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so everywhere. Okay, hang on. Let me calm down for a second. What you need to do is take the polygon tool, and then draw the shape of a t-shirt. About here, 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 there, and there. And we're only going to make one side of it because we're going to flip it. So the t-shirts are symmetrical. On the fold line, which is the middle line right here. And then unfold it and then we have a t-shirt. Now this is just the front part of the t-shirt. We're going to need to create the back end of the t-shirt as well. So I'm going to do close that. And I'm going to click on the front part. And I'm going to press Control and then C and then Control and V. And that'll create a duplicate. Now since I don't want a dip in the back of my shirt, I'm going to select this point right here and I'm just going to press the delete key and it's going to make it straight. So now we have a front and a back part of our t-shirt. But as you see, the parts aren't coming up on the 3D menu because I didn't check this box right here. This is the sync bo uh, bold. <laughs> this is the sync mode. It allows whatever you are working with on the 3D menu to show up here in the 2D menu. So if I was to add another point here and uh, edit the pattern over here like so, you see it will respond to it in not real time, but every time you let go of the mouse and click. So you see that it does that. Now if sync mode was off and I was to manipulate the pattern again, you'll see that no changes are made because it's not synced together. So if you notice that's happening, 
you may want to check and see if you're actually synced up or not. So I'm just going to delete this and turn sync mode back on. So now that we have our front and back done, we need to determine which part is the front and which part is the back. It's obvious in this one that this is the back. So with the back part of the pattern selected, we're going to right click on it and then press flip horizontally. Anything that needs to go behind the avatar needs to be flipped horizontally or else it will be transparent when we upload it into Second Life. And that's not good. So you want to pull it behind them like so. And then we're going to begin sewing. So we're going to use the 3D sewing tools. And that's these right here, these buttons here. So it's two, segment sewing and free sewing. We're going to just use segment sewing because that's the easiest. So select segment sewing and click on the edge of the t-shirt. Drag it forward and click on another one. And then do the same thing all around. As you can see right here, I made a mistake. The lines that are going here are twisted. Now when we go to start simulating the cloth formation, this seam line is going to cause problems because the lines are twisted. Basically, it's telling Marvel's designer, pull these two parts together and then twist at the center. And that's going to cause a whole lot of uh, mess and errors for us, so you want to always make sure that your lines are straight. If your lines are twisted, you can just select the uh, Edit Seam Lines tool, click on, right, left click on the seam. <clears throat> or right click oh, okay it's a uh, left click on the seam and you push reverse seam line and it will flip it and make it go straight so another option back then was you know click on the lines <laughs> click on the seams and then delete it and then re-sew the part but you know if you're in a rush and you don't have time for that you can just click on it and do the reverse seam thingy and it will work so we're just going to take the time now and just sew all of the lines, making sure that they are straight. Sometimes when you're sewing, you'll notice that over here it looks like it's twisted, but over in a 3D window it's straight. So as long as it's straight in a 3D window, you don't really have to pay much attention to that. Alright, so now that we have it straight, we're going to use this pattern select tool and select the pattern and push it against the avatar just make it really close to them without actually going into them this makes the um, patterns not drag so quickly in the air it just makes it snap to it rather close so press play and there you have a t-shirt <laughs> easy yes so if you want to make the t-shirt longer all you have to do is uh, select this button here the pattern select click on the edges hold down shift and then just drag it down and as you see the t-shirt got longer now sometimes it may collide inside the body but you know don't worry about that all you have to do is click on it and pull it out and it'll work if you want the t-shirt to be baggier you just grab the edge hold down shift and then you just stretch it outward and it will make the t-shirt a lot baggier of course you have to edit the pattern and make sure all the rest of them is also um, whoops, make sure everything else reflects on that to get a, a better thing uh, sometimes uh, the chest part as I notice when it gets short when you make things baggy so you have to make the front of the shirt a little bit longer than the back if you want it to come down all the way but I want a nice tight fitting lady shirt so I'm just going to press uh, control Z and then get it back to where it's original tightness so that's how you make a t-shirt in Marvel's Designer. Now we're going to export it out of uh, Marvel's Designer and put it into Blender so that we can set it up for the next video where we go to rig. Oh, if you're wondering about the UV maps and texture, the pattern you made over here is the UV maps. So you don't have to go and uh, mark the scenes and uh, do the stuff when it comes to texturing. So that's why I love Marvel's Designer. Such a big time saver. Alrighty, so let's get to exporting. So what next we're gonna do is go file export OBJ. And we're going to oh, I'm gonna move this so I can click it. There we go. Put this back up here. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're here, we have our OBJ save menu, and we're gonna name this tutorial shirt. And it's going to give you this window of stuff to click. So what you need to do is always make sure um, just cloth select cloth shape is selected. 
and then you're going to check uh, unified UV coordinates and remove collapsed triangles and then we're going to press M for scaling and then we're going to just hit OK and that's it it's all saved and exported now back over to blender so we're here in blender and we're just going to click on the middle of our avatar we can actually click anywhere I like to put all my stuff on different layers that way it's easier to work with in case you mess up you're not clicking on this or that or that everything's on its own layer so we're going to go down at the bottom and I'm going to go to a new layer and um, I'm going to go file import object and I'm going to select the t tutorial t-shirt object and you see now we have our shirt imported here and we press and hold shift and as you see you have your t-shirt now because it's blending in like too well with the character like this what's it called uh, it's gray I'm going to assign it a material color that way it stands out so we can actually see it so yeah just like it was in Marvelous Designer without having to scale or shape it so that's how you make a t-shirt in Marvelous Designer so now you know both ways to make a simple shirt let's get into the next part where we actually rig it to the avatar so yeah this has been zero and I'll see you in the next video